In the old manufacturing system, production department is responsible for making the numbers and it is the job of the quality control to ensure that no defect will reach the customers. It relies heavily on techniques like 100% inspection to screen out the items that are not meeting the specifications. A strategy of detection. The problem with that approach is, it does not prevent the failure to happen and those failed parts has to be either reworked or rejected. So the organization has to incur the cost of quality, that is manpower and resources for inspection and also the cost of poor quality due to rework and rejection. Soon the business leaders realized that it is much more effective to avoid waste by not producing the defect in the first place. A strategy of prevention. One of the methods to implement the prevention strategy is statistical process control. SPC is a tool where we use statistical data to monitor and control a process. Let me explain. If you remember this process cycle, earlier our focus was on the output. Now with the prevention control, we want to shift our focus here with the assumption that if my input and process is right, output will definitely be right. So, we monitor the process with statistical methods and use the feedback to control the inputs and process parameters to maintain the overall quality of the output. Simple. We need statistical process control so that we can prevent the failure parts from being manufactured and avoid the cost of poor quality. With SPC, we can have two benefits. First, it helps us to identify if the process is capable enough to meet the required quality standards. Secondly, it helps us to measure and monitor if the process is performing as required. That is, the output is within the natural variation limit. We will study more about the natural variation in upcoming videos but before that, we need to understand the working principle and basic assumptions of SPC. See you in the next video.